Hey guys, um, my name is Anna, for those of you who don't know me. But pretty much Mr. Rucker asked me to come and talk to you guys about kind of like how I turned a hobby into like a business. So it's one of my YouTube channel. So pretty much what I do, um, I'm a YouTube creator and partner. And so pretty much when I was like really little, I like loved to like clothes and like makeup and like that kind of stuff. And um, so that's what I make videos about. And then I work with companies to advertise and just like promote their products. But um, I'll talk about that later. And then I also work with other YouTubers to advertise each other's channels. So it kind of like helps the both of us out. Okay, so this is kind of like the roots of my business. This is kind of like the picture of like what you see when you click on my channel. So pretty much I've loved making fashion ever since like forever. And I like discovered um, like these kind of videos when I was in grade school and I like fell in love with it. And I was like, I discovered iMovie and I was like, what can I make videos about to post on YouTube? And then I decided to like make videos about beauty and like fashion and that kind of stuff just because it's what I love to do. So I felt like if I love to do it, other people would like, like watching me. So that's what And then kind of like putting a hobby into a business. So I didn't start this as a business, which is like kind of like different because I kind of started it as a hobby and I didn't even know you could like make money off of videos on YouTube. So um, this is kind of like a year after I started and I think I had around like 10,000 subscribers at the time. And I learned about like different networks you can partner with and so they'll pay you based on like views on your videos. So I figured out, I figured out Style Hall, which is like the leading beauty and fashion like network. And so I applied to be with them and then I got accepted. I think it was like a month after. And that opened up like so many doors for like working with companies and like more opportunities and like that's how I started getting paid. And then you can also get paid through Google AdSense, which is um, if you've seen like ads in front of the four people's videos, like they can pay you based on how many people click on that ad, which will like direct people to their website. So that's pretty cool. And then, um, um, yeah, this that's just kind of I did it a year into, and then yeah, but I just kind of got inspiration from like other people's videos, and that's kind of like why I started also. <coughs> And then this is just like how, I don't really do a lot of like marketing, I guess you could say, but <coughs> I think the biggest thing that's helped me is like collaborating with other people because it helps the both of us out. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. And you can just be like, hey, after this video, like go watch this person's channel and you can like give them a link to their channel. And it just kind of helps the both of you out. And they are like, okay, here's this person's video, here's their channel, go check it out. Like that kind of thing. So you do similar videos. So like, of course they're gonna watch the other person because you make the same type of videos. And then also, I put business in social media because if you're working with a company and say they reach out to you and say, hey, could you, you know, talk about this product in your videos? And then they'll um, sometimes post on their social media and then say like, oh, this person is like promoting our thing, go check out their video, and then it'll drive more people to your channel. So I think that's something that's helped me a lot also. And then I put titles because like, I think the title of your video like helps you a lot in getting attention because obviously people aren't gonna search something that's like super long and like this long detailed title. So as long as you have something that's like simple but it's still like attention grabbing, I think that's really like an important thing. And it's not even like hard, like you don't have to, you know, like put ads up on anywhere. It's just like something really simple. So that's kind of what I do for like the marketing kind of thing. And then this is like first making money in like sales. So after I like started working with the network for a while, I like started making money based on views for each video because I did like not make much at the beginning. Like it was not something I was like in it for the money at first. But ever since then, it's kind of like grown to be a lot more than I ever thought it would be. And so eventually, I started getting sponsorships. So companies would of often like see my channel and be like, "Oh, like I bet if we send her her products, like she could promote them and like we'd get more." things to our um, company. So um, I get paid based on how many people click on their website and then like buy their products or stuff. But um, other times they'll just pay you up front, which is really nice. So and then right now I like started out sponsorships. I was like, oh like you don't have to pay me, but like now I'm just like people pay me it's usually around a hundred to five hundred dollars per sponsorship, but it like ranges from there. 
and then this is just like how much money I spent on my business. So I don't think that you necessarily have to like buy a lot of things to like be successful with this, but I think you definitely need like a camera because obviously like people aren't gonna want to watch you if you're like glitching out or like on like a like tiny webcam or something. So I think like a good quality is a necessity and then um, editing software, this is like optional, but I think that if you have like good editing and you put a lot of effort into it, it can make you like unique from other people because there's like so many people trying to do the exact same thing as you and so as long as you like make yourself different, like I think it'll help you a lot. And then, you know, like lighting, obviously you're not gonna like wanna watch someone who's like in the dark, like just really bad lighting and just like, I think natural lighting is just like the best. And then I spent this like without like money for my business, I guess at first, but like the sales eventually paid it off so that was pretty nice. Um, and then today for sales, um, it really differs for each video because like sometimes some videos only get like 5,000 views, but other times they'll get like, you know, 60,000 views. It just like really depends. And then I think that sponsored videos make the most money because obviously the company's paying you like directly and it's not like you know exactly how much you're getting for that. And then also like I've recently been making videos for DreamWorks and um, for their channel and it's also been on like the Go90 app. So that was like really fun and they paid me like pretty good for that and then I was a part of like their DIY series and so I got to like I think this has really helped me like learn how to work with other people and like work with these companies because like I'm getting my name out there I guess and yeah so. and then also today um, getting the word out I think like I said collaborating with other people definitely helps and then also um, what I do for social media is like I say just like I have a like specific Instagram like for my YouTube channel so I can just post and be like hey like go check out this video and then that way people who aren't subscribed to you like you can let them know that like there's something that they should be watching and so as long as you like put the link in your like Instagram bio they can just like click on it or if somebody like new is following you they can click on it and then subscribe to your channel so I think that's helped a lot too and like people who follow you may not even like know that you have a YouTube channel so like let's them know. Um, and then advertising, this is just like small little things but like I think well I go to like YouTube events sometimes to so, like playlist live and like VidCon and BeautyCon and that kind of stuff and so I think that business cards are definitely like important so you can like hand them out to people like who may not know or like if you meet new people you can just be like because if you tell them like you have a YouTube channel they're probably not going to like remember you know. So I think as long as you like hand them a business card it's something that you like because I know people have handed me business cards before when I'm like at those events and I find them like a month later and I'm like oh I didn't forgot to watch them so then I click on it and I'm like oh that's really cool so um also advertising this isn't really like a advertising kind of thing I guess but if you're posting videos that are like popular to watch at the time and like seasonal or like I guess like trending like that topic um people are more likely to watch it at that time those so like attention grabbing titles like I was talking about before um, yeah, I think that's my last slide. But um, as far as college goes, like for business, this business to keep going next year, I definitely want to like keep it going. I think it's definitely going to be harder in college just because like I just think I'll be a lot more busy and it'll just be more harder. But I think I will keep it going next year. If it's like a whole entire dedicated video towards them, then it's obviously going to be more. But if it's just like a shout out, I guess you could say, or like, oh, this video is sponsored, like that kind of thing, then it's like less. But if you're talking about their stuff, the entire video, then it's more. Can we see a video? Like, can we pull one up and watch one? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of like curious to see. It's under like Anna Elizabeth. Rather not want to. <laughs> yeah, I just, All right. She has to already pulled up. Like, okay, I'll hop back for a little bit.
Jordan. You ever like make a title that's like not about what you're actually doing, but like just. I mean, like I haven't done. I've seen so many people do that, but like I haven't done that just because a lot of people get sh like hate for that. I guess. Yeah, do they get hated on for doing yeah. that? Yeah. Like if I say, oh puppies, then it's yeah, not it's about like, puppies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 people who view your um, mm -hmm. videos, how does that work? Um, it's through like Google AdSense, but it's also with Style Hall. So like they'll pay you based on the amount of views are on your channel. So if it's like 1,000 views, you get this amount of money. Or if it's like 2,000 views, you get this amount of money. Do you want to discuss like how much that is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really not supposed to say how much oh, that is, okay. but like I can say like the sponsorship. So, like, yeah. um, so as a YouTuber, what do you think of the thing that they're going to like start doing where if you cuss in your videos, you don't get paid? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Um, I mean, it doesn't really affect me because like I don't cuss in my videos. <laughs> but like, I think it is. Like, I think it's good for the most part. I mean, I don't see why that would be Well, it definitely like depends. Sometimes I like reach out to them and I ask like, Hey, can I promote your products and like we can make this like business to pay me? But like other times they'll just like reach out to me. So probably I'd say like once every month or once every two months. Probably. What's the most Um, I think a hundred thousand or something. But that was like on a really old video and like what for? it was just. I think it was like oh, what was it? It was like oh. It was like a getting ready for like high school, and it was I was a freshman because that's when I like started this. But now that it's like, it's funny because I can like look back on them and be like, oh, like I just like <laughs> cringe whenever I watch the old ones. So yeah. Do you ever delete videos? I've like privated some of them, but like not deleted because if you private them, you can still like go back and not. <laughs> what over forty? What does privated mean? It means like nobody else can see them except for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to like, give a question, but like, I have to, like, it's going to say that. But, like, as, like, a business, like, how much would you say, like, you profit probably per year off of this? Like, oh, off of your work? I've, like, not thought about that. I don't know. It's kind like, of like, I haven't really added all of that up. But, yeah. I, I really couldn't give you an estimate. Like, I haven't. Uh, so you said something about this, like, if you, if you, like, actually go to the advertiser's own site, like, from watching an ad and making the video, you actually get more money? Yeah, yeah, if you, like, go, if you click on the ad, that person will, like, get, get from that, yeah. So, you know, like, when you go in on YouTube and you search something and, like, videos come up? <laughs> do you like do you? Sorry, uh, yeah. I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> do Do you have to like creatively think of like a title you think that'll pop up earlier on the list? Yeah, I mean like it. Once you like click on that, if there's the same title, it'll pop up with like which one has the most views and the most recent first. So if you have like a really good title that's like trending at the time, like yours will definitely come up first. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. Both of you. With. You can go first. With, you, with YouTube Red, how it's like ad free, will that affect the amount of money that That's you'll make? Question. Yeah, so like that actually does, which is like annoying. But like, so YouTube Red, since there's no ads, you won't like obviously get money from the ads, but you still get money from like your network paying you based on views. Wouldn't, isn't the purpose of YouTube Red though? You're directly paying YouTube instead of watching ads. Don't you? It seems like you should still get a cut of that revenue. Yeah, I would think so, but I don't. <laughs> it could be hidden in there. A lot of times they don't. Yeah, but directly YouTube's almost like market. Like market. Yeah. It comes yeah. from the general yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So maybe it's in there. That's true. Yeah. How often do you get recognized? Um, they can probably. Well, like, a lot of times it's just like when I go to like the YouTube like events because like yeah. it's just weird because people will come up to me and be like, Hey, Anna, and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> it's just like, pretty. so yeah, it's usually just at those, I guess. Yeah. So do you put ads on every single one of your videos? Mm -hmm. Do you put them on or do people put them on for you? I just like, there's a button, it's like monetization, so you can just like click on that and ads will come up. So I, I like don't know what ads are in front of my Yeah. So you can add like a video, like, like 15 ads or a video. Just one. <laughs> no, Wait, 
I'm like confusing, but you have like a three-minute video, but it's like sad, 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 sad. I see a bunch of yellow, like, lines. Oh, yeah, none of mine have that. It's just one ad. Yeah. Do you ever have, like, companies send you products? Yeah, that's like, with all the sponsorships, that's kind of pretty much what it is. It's just like reviewing, and you can, like, get back to them and tell them, like, how it is. Like, a lot of times people send me, like, their new products, so then I get to, like, test them out first, and I can yeah. And what's your biggest sponsor? Um, it Cosmetics is probably the biggest. That's what I guess. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 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 what if a sponsor sends you a, like a makeup kit or something that you don't like? Oh yeah, that's actually happened before. Then I don't like put it on my videos. And I like make sure I let them know I'm like, by the way, like if I don't like this, I won't show it because I don't want to show something to people that I don't like because I think it'll just like, I would hate that person if I bought something that they said was good and it was actually bad. So I try not to do that. Yeah. I, I have heard from friends a lot smarter than me that uh, honesty is crucial on social media and that dishonesty, uh, people can smell it through mm -hmm. the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you, what do you, in some opinions, bring <laughs> Well, I completely <laughs> agree with that because I can definitely tell when I'm watching someone and like talk about like a sponsorship and you can like tell it's a sponsorship if they're getting paid a certain amount of money to do this and like they obviously don't like the product or that kind of thing. So that's just like my pet peeve when people do that, so I try not to do that. Okay, so it, it genuine, you can tell and it irritates you. Mm -hmm. so she's got it. Yeah. Yeah. So be honest if you want to have a career. Yeah, I agree. How many subscribers do you have? Oh, right now, I think like around 36,000. Yeah, I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you get, how many followers on Twitter do you have? Mm, I think like, what, 2,000? But is, is your Twitter account more for like your business or do you like have yeah, a separate Twitter? Yeah, it's more Twitter? for like business, like YouTube. So how many followers do you get like on average per day? I'd say like per month, probably like a, a thousand, I think, per month. But like, I don't know how many a day. I never like had to How long did it take for you to get to like that many followers? Like, well, I started my freshman year, so. Yeah, you said it was like a year to get your first solid, or 10,000, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. How'd you get, how'd you get 10,000 followers? Is that pretty bad? Well, when I started, not a lot of people were making the kind of videos that I made. So, like, I guess I was, like, new to the, I don't know. But now, I feel like now there's so many people trying to do the exact same thing. So it would be, like, a lot harder for somebody to start out. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely do when, like, I see, when I collaborate with other people. And, like, when I get one video that gets, like, a ton of more views, you know. If your one of your friends in here said, "Gosh, I would love to start a business of some kind, um, but I just don't know what," mm -hmm. where would you advise them? How would you advise them? Mm, I would say, like, don't start it at first, like thinking you're gonna make a lot of money, because you probably won't at first. Because I started making no money, so like, just like as long as you love doing it, then like you'll eventually start making. And did you love, love, love it from the beginning, or did yeah. you kind of sort of like it, and then have you grown to love, love, love it? I think I just loved it from the beginning. Okay. So, yeah. How much longer do you think this this whole YouTube video can go on? I don't, that's a good question. I always think about that, too. Like, I don't really know. I'm going to obviously keep doing it as long as I can, but, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, don't you have another job, too? Yeah, I also work at Paul and Bill's, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know where that is. I don't know. Like, I just kind of do that for like extra money, and I kind of wanted some like job experience more. So, you know. yeah. may I ask the same question I asked Lauren? Can you give some of the pros and cons of like, oh, I'm running my own thing. Pros oh, and cons. Yeah. I'm working for somebody else. Pros have, and cons. Yeah. Okay. So working for somebody else. Well, like obviously, like Lauren said, like you have your own schedule if you have your own business, and so you can choose to like work on stuff this day and like not work on stuff and like go hang out with your friends and stuff but with the business like I work every Saturday night so it's like annoying that I have to work there all the time in your schedule at like this specific time and you don't make as much and you have taxes taken out of it so it's just kind of like less fun but yeah. Mm -hmm.
when you make a video, do you like record yourself, then you edit it right after, and yeah. then post it, or how does that work? Well, it takes a long time to edit, I think, cause especially because I try to like make it different from other people, so I like usually film and then like I edit part of it, and then I'll just edit like throughout the entire week and then post it on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, how does how do they like pay you? Do they just like send you a check or mm -hmm. just yeah. deposit? Okay. Yeah. How long does it take you to make like one video? And how long are you? Um, usually, well, there definitely like, ranges in length. So like, it's probably from like three to nine minutes usually. But like to edit a really long video probably takes like six hours or more, depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. Have you ever calculated how much you think you get paid per hour with editing, filming, mm -hmm. spending time researching, contacting mm -hmm. the companies, and yeah. keeping track of all that stuff versus how much you make off of it? I've never done that, but like I feel like I just like constantly work on it all the time, even though like I'm not really thinking about it. Like I'm always like, oh, I can do a video about this, like where I can use this song, but I never like I've never calculated how long because I feel like I'm always doing it. Right, because it's creative because you have to come up with new ideas. Yeah. So like if you have how many videos do you have? Mm. Over fifty. Yeah, for sure. So that means you have to come up with ideas. Yeah. Lots of icons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Who's the YouTuber that you like look up to? Or the oh my gosh. Well, like when I started, I think that Bethany Moda was like the big thing yeah. when I was like a freshman. And everybody like loved her, so I was like, how would it be just like her? And so yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, She's my idol. You also said this great sentence toward the beginning that it taught you to work with other people, and that's something that all of us have to learn in our lives. Yeah. Um, can you give me, I don't know, the top two, three, four things that you learned about working with other people mm -hmm. from being a freshman until now? Probably like business emails, I guess, because it's not like texting your friends. So I like actually had to learn how to communicate with businesses. And like working with other people, like other YouTubers, they're all kind of like my age, so it's really easy to talk to them. But like thinking of an idea that you both want to do for like one video, and thinking of something that you think would get the most views, I think it's just helped me like make ideas with other people. And that kind of stuff. Okay, so like actually communicating with peers was easier, but yeah, with business emails. What's what's the difference? I mean, you definitely have to be more professional because I feel like if they feel like they're emailing a freshman, they'll be like, oh, we can just not pay her as much, you know? But if you're like really professional and like you act like, well, you know what you're doing, then they'll like be like, oh, this person knows what they're doing, we should definitely like pay her more. How much do you reread and edit your own emails to make sure that they sound good? Mm, probably like three times at least. Okay, so before you hit send, you go through that email like three times. I mean, yeah, I reread it three times. Okay, sorry, English. <laughs> If you're gonna collaborate with somebody on a video, do you have to find like other girls who are making the same kind of videos that like live in Kansas, or like oh, how do no. you meet up? Like I them? definitely like, like collaborate with people. Well, you don't really have to be like together. I guess like you can collaborate with someone that lives in like New York, and like you just talk. You say like, also this is a collab with this person, so make sure you go check out their channel and you like insert the link. Do you have like a YouTuber group message? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. If they invent a new social media platform, will you be one of the early pioneers? Um, it depends on what it is, but like, yeah. 